this was an addiction, bro. I'll be to three, four, five in the morning on eBay and um, uh, BMX Museum looking for parts. Somebody wants to buy them at least 40, 50,000, and you gotta buy them one shot. I won't even break them apart. The money is the rim. You feel me? Yeah. Old school. Look how I look. What made me pick the money? The money is like all the hardest new rims that's out. You feel me? Like upgraded to the right company. Especially on these old school. Look how I look. Done. Look how I look. Super clean. I'm clean. Yeah, I mean, nice. I'm, I'm so excited, words can't explain it. You feel me? <laughs> For real. Right now, my name's Freddie from, I guess, retired BTS Customs Bowtie South. I guess we're here with Lance, just doing a little footage on my new hobby that I picked up over the COVID. I guess when I started this stuff, this was like maybe like a childhood dream. You know, my mom couldn't afford to buy me these bikes when I was younger. Pretty much everybody else's same story. I was bored at home when COVID happened. I got online, I started looking. I purchased my first bike back in, um, in like April, April of 2020, I bought this white one from a buddy of mine, pretty much built, and I just revamped it. Me and my boy Gabby, he helped me with all my bike. We took it apart, we revamped it a little bit. I went back and acquired the baby blue one, and then it just started to grow and grow and grow, and I just started getting more addicted to them. Then we just decided to start building our own. So I ended up purchasing that bike on eBay, and um, that's really where like the disease started and I didn't know how big the trend was gonna get and um, and it just kept going. I finished that one, then we started to build this 86. Oh, by the way, all my bikes are 86s. Um, I have a thing with the number 86, so I only build 86 bikes. They gotta be 86 GTs. What's the price point of these bikes right now? When I bought this bike, I bought this bike for I think it was like 1700 bucks. And I put into the bike about like two, three grand. This one I bought for like 2,500 because that's it. It started to it started to bump, and I put about another 2,500, three grand into that one. The pink one um, I bought for the same amount, maybe like 2,500 bucks, and I put another three, four grand in it. And then this one, this one really broke the bank. Um, this bike is damn near everything in OS. And except for, you know, like the crank serve, reproduction, just something else. At least it's more economical than building cars. Cause boy, the car scene is just out of control right now. But for the most part, there, there's a lot of NOS parts on the bike. I'm not really, um, there's guys that really take it serious that they will not put anything that's not original. Me per se, I just want the bike to be clean. So I use as much NOS parts as possible and whatever else I can't find, I'll replace it with aftermarket parts as long as it's correct and it looks right. But there's guys that really, really take it serious. And so this bike, I'm about, I would say like eight, nine thousand dollars into this bike. Um, just the seat alone is like 900 bucks. The frame extenders, if you find these things on eBay, they're like about a thousand dollars. These are about 500. 
the frame extent, uh, the badge guards are about five, six hundred bucks. These things are about six, seven hundred bucks, about a couple hundred dollars. The tires, um, they're reproduction tires, but I came to a point that you couldn't find the tires. So people were paying up to five, six hundred bucks for a set of tires. But when they have them online, they're about like 60 bucks. But if you're trying to finish a bike, you know, you, you, you sometimes you just gotta pay. Um, this is all NOS too, um, NOS, uh, standards of NOS. Where, where are you gonna go from here? I mean, what, what, what's, what's next in this collection? Um, we're gonna do a, a all chrome bike now. We're working on it now and we're gonna do an all gold bike. Um, right now we're just piecing the parts together. And after that, I think I'm gonna be done. I think I pretty much built everything that I wanted to do, so. Um, we're finishing that one up now too. That's another 86. I'm doing the reverse to this one. So I got all the parts for that one. I just need to assemble it. Probably this weekend we'll get that one knocked out. And um, then I'm gonna do the chrome bike and I'm gonna do an all gold bike. And that's pretty much it. So the main, do you, how many hours do you spend looking for these parts? Or hunting a guy down on Instagram that knew a guy that knew a guy. This is the same thing like as building a car. Um, you gotta pretty much go through the same steps and build your network and start to know the people that are involved and the, the collectors. It takes on months to find parts. You never ridden one of these or anything, right? I rode the white one, cause when I got that one, I told you I bought that one from a buddy of mine, and um, so I rode it. And then when I revamped it and, and cleaned it up, I, I haven't ridden it ever again. But I don't ride them at all. They just made me, just made me art. This is gonna be like museum pieces, you know? I just want to hang them on the wall or on a stand somewhere that I can just come in and look at them. And that's about it. Shit when the rhyme is Chuck a blood in the spit to recrime is I just killed it